Welcome to another episode of The Grown Man Show with your host, C. Black the Business, and your other host, DJ Uncle Tom. Are we in the building? That we are. That's right. Or well, as I like to say nowadays, we in the game. We in the game. We in the game. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. You know, as I used to say, the same old black shit, but. Right. 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 I'm good. Well, you can follow this guy at C Black the Business. That's on Instagram. On Instagram. So he has to give his other stuff because I know X is the number one in the word business. Right. Because C Black the Business was too long. For the name, so I couldn't. You know, you're supposed to brand and have everything the same, but on on X, formerly known as Twitter, you couldn't use that many characters. Oh shoot, you you know I'm super late. X is called Twitter is called X now. Correct. <laughs> what is wrong with me? What would what, you thought we were saying? Just another platform. Yeah, I thought it was a whole other oh, yeah, platform. Nah. No, that, and see, that's probably because you know you was, you know, in and out the hospital and all that. You was missing out on what was happening. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I missed out. Train yeah. really missed nothing, but it's X though now. So, so it's X now. It's X. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so now people gonna have X fingers. Yeah. People still say Twitter fingers because that's the, you know, what I'm right. Saying? That's gonna be the moniker for it, right? Uh, it's only two X's I know. That's the BX and Malcolm. What about DM? Okay, all right, three. <laughs> DM, God rest his soul. That was my guy. Rest in peace. That was my guy, man. So how's your week been, C Black? Yo, I tell you about my weekend of. Oh. So let let's just start from Friday. Um, Friday. What was Friday? What did I do Friday? I don't know what happened Friday. 419. Oh, I went to Red Man and Met the Man concert for the 420. That's what you thank you for reminding me. <laughs> and um, that was dope. That was at Terminal 5 down in Manhattan. A um, couple of special guests came out. I got to see Red Man for the first time. That was dope. Got to perform some of my classics, the goodness and uh, time for some action, et cetera. Um, the homie Akaya Baby, she came out. She spit some bars. She she's she's nice. Um, of course, Red and Meth Man, they 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 did the damn thing. Their energy is just electric. I seen Meth in person. I went to the Nas and, and uh, the Nas and Wu Tang concert, so I got to see Meth there. But I never get got to see my man Red Man, and Red Man is in my top five. So uh, that was dope. I look forward to uh, catching him again too. By the way, Saturday that was the night of the fight, the game, the Knicks game, of course, game one. So I just went to a bar in, in uh, Queens, watched the game, and then watched the fight. Seen Haney get his ass tore up. Mm. I mean, toe up, and I swear I should have bet on the game. I mean, the fight because I knew I, I, I felt uh, this guy was gonna win. So you knew it. I felt it. I I should have bet because I, I I just maybe just because I just don't like Haney. I don't like his style of fight, and I think he's overrated. And he just it, the thing is, he talked about it. The guy only got a left hook, and he couldn't see the left hook coming. Wow! If you go in the fight knowing this is what, all he got, you didn't see or none of them that came. So that was Saturday. That was interesting. That whole night, um, the next one. So that was jubilant for us. Right. And then Sunday, I went to the Yankee game. My homie from Memphis came up. Shouts to Marlon Tisdale, a Ram alumni. Shouts to Albany State University, the HBCU. That's right. And, What's um, the mascot for uh, Albany again? Ram. 
It's a it's a ram. It's a ram, yeah, right? Yeah, golden ram. Yeah. Yeah, I got a hoodie at home. Yep. Love those guys. Yeah, yeah. You know? Shouts to be severe in the building. So yeah, so the Yankees also won. So that was dope. So yeah, that was my weekend, but I've been up. Been up. All pretty much all weekend, man. And then from Sunday after the game, went, you know, chill with the homie, catch up. He always loved coming to New York for New York's pizza, so we hit a pizza shop, caught up a little bit, talked about some Did things. Did you hit a good pizza shop? Well, we went to the one near Madison Square, so that was like, that was cool. I think I spoke to you that day. Why you were getting pizza? I think, yeah. That wasn't me. Huh? That wasn't me. That was somebody else. That wasn't me. I spoke to somebody I was, I was, that, I was, out of at a Knicks game going to get pizza. No, nah, I, I wasn't at the Knicks game. I was watching the Knicks game on Saturday, but I went to the Yankee game Sunday. Right. Yeah. You sure we didn't talk? No, nah, we didn't talk this weekend. I was out. And listen to what I'm telling you. I was out of it, man. You Finish. Me? Not finished. I was functioning, but it was a dead man walking. Heard you. But moving. So... Half of the weekend, I really don't remember. So I'm telling you the the, the highlights of the weekend. Yeah, so much. we we probably spoke and you forgot. I would remember that. Yeah. For real. Man. How was your weekend? You know, uh, my days, weeks, and months are the same. Work, work, and work. And I get to sit at home sometimes and watch TV, and then I go in my bed and go to sleep. All right, this is your modest, humble answer, I see. Because we know tone up, turn up tone. And if you didn't turn up this weekend, you can say that. But this, you home, home all day. Come on, son. Okay, I have a friend in the building that could actually tell you I'm home all day. See, we're home all day. I be tired, see, black, and we both work at night. Right, so you don't you be outside sleeping at be work? Home. Do you be home sleeping, resting for your work hours, the turn up time? Correct. How about this? I hope my boss don't see this when I say this, but if he do, he could kiss my ass too. Excuse my French, I don't curse a lot. I went to work the other day and sat in my little corner chair in the window. It was super slow. I had two people in there. Then I had four. Then all four of them left. I went to sleep. Nobody was there. My bartender's like, Tony, you okay? I said, I'm fine. I'm sleeping. Leave me alone. Hour later, Tony, you fine? Yes, I'm sleeping. Leave me alone. Ten minutes, I had three people walk in. Ten minutes after that, I had four people. And I looked up. Oh, yeah, I know them. I'm good. You went back and, to sleep? And I went back to sleep. <laughs> right? From 7.30 to 10.30, I was asleep. I enjoyed my beverages. We call it the trifecta now. So next time you stop by and you want to get me a beverage, just look at the bartender and say, I want to get Tone the trifecta. That's it. What is that? So it's a pint of seltzer water and pineapple juice, a shot of Tito's, and a White Claw. That's full. No. Pineapple juice and seltzer. That's one. Pineapple juice is liquid. Huh? <laughs> pineapple juice is liquid. No. Pineapple juice and seltzer water in one glass counts as one drink. Remember, I've been bartending for 30 years. So you go to the meetings, yeah. <laughs> right. No, there's no liquor in that. But it's, it's two ingredients. It is two ingredients, but it's one drink. <laughs> yeah, so I might as well I might as well uh, add the ice, right? That's going to be three That's now? That's going to be another ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four it's 
the, it's the trifecta. And uh, but different. you have to be a bartender to understand that that's one drink. Cran cranberry, no, my bartenders don't be drunk. They're forbidden to get drunk. No, no, no. My bartenders can't. They got a certain time. Like, okay, you could drink after this certain time, an hour before we close, and I decide when we close. So this anyway, is the, this is the turn up that I'm talking about. You see how that comes back around? So, and I decide when we close. No, this is the trifecta. So Tito's, Tito's, Seltzer White Claw, White Claw, Seltzer and pineapple. <laughs> it is one thing. It's together. See, I don't drink pineapple seltzer water. All right, so what, how you taking it? You take the shot first, and then you. Do, I always take the shot first. Then you white claw, and then you. No, uh, do oh. White Claw is the finisher. The seltzer water with pineapple juice is, uh, the rim is, has salt on it. So people think it's a margarita or something, but it's not. <laughs> it's illusions. not. You're selling illusions. All right, so now what? Yeah. So you, that's then, second. The, the seltzer and pineapple is second. Right. Then you white claw to finish it. Right. But right. I sip it slow. Everything is sip saying. slow. You can't sip a shot, though. Hmm? Well, when my bartenders pour me shots, it's they like a, a big... double. Right. So, yeah. So, uh, it's like more like a neat then. The it's a neat. neat. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Talking to a drinker for real. Well, yes. So, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a neat. And um, I sip that and the white claw for about an hour. But how many of those before you get right? Not just one of them. There's no getting right. You just said if you want to get right, <laughs> this is what you tell the bartender, right? No, I said if you want to get me a beverage, you tell the bartender Tony's trifecta. That's, that's it. That's not me getting right. That's not you getting right. I might have two. I might have that two sets. I might have two, two sets of times. that per night. And that's it. Well, maybe three at the end of the night. One to go. Yeah, but mm -mm. That's smooth. Yeah, and and I'm I'm a you know, I mean, now put my personal business out there, but I'm a fall risk, so I can't be drunk mm. ever. Right. So I sip slow through the whole night. Sip slow. That's dangerous, man. Still, what being a fall risk? Yeah, I got a bad back. I was an athlete, yeah, and and one of the worst sports ever. But one of the best sports ever. And you would say that's football? No, that's judo. Oh, hey. You know how many times I got thrown around and had to hit the floor? My back is finished. That's why I'm the forest, because of my back. Uh -huh. Not because of my heart disease. Uh -huh. And you know what? Now you done made me mad. You now go. I'm <laughs> thinking about it. Okay. You got the multiple sclerosis walk. Right? You got the breast cancer walk. You don't have enough of heart disease. You got the lupus walk. There's no heart disease walk because we can't walk that far. Mm. Shoot. Me and this green mile, I walk to the bathroom. I'll be like, oh, oh, oh. That's tough. But, you know, as the leading killer of Americans, uh, you know, it's manageable as long as you manage it. If that makes sense to you or anybody else, this oh, may up. watch. You, you want to keep up with your health, right? You got damn right. So people don't. You saying people let themselves go when they get hard? Yes, to they uh, listen. They don't want to fight it. Let me tell you. People get depressed mm. because they can't move like they used to. Mm. You know, and they become uh, what you call that? Uh, hermits. And they stay in a house, they get on social security and stuff like that, and they just perish. That's why I feel you perish faster. You stop yeah. being active and all that. You you stop. What what they say? What's that commercial see black? A, a body in motion tends to stay in motion. Mm. Yeah. So I move as much as I can unless I'm watching my TV. 
Now, if I'm watching my TV, I'm sitting there watching my TV. Me and this guy over here will be talking in my house, right? And I'm watching my TV, and he'll be talking. And I'm watching my TV, and he'll be talking. But, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to keep watching my TV. I watch, so many I words. Like That's my what <laughs> That's a lot of water because it's a 55 inch. You think 55 inch is a big TV, man? That's decent. It's decent? It's not huge. It's not a huge. It's no, a nice yeah, that's why it's called a 55 inch because it's not a 60 inch. <laughs> that's what Logic would dictate that. Nah, yeah, that's a decent size. Depending on the size of the room, too, that's important, too. Like, Well, you've been in my house. So you know the size of the room. Well, that's a decent thing for that living room. Yeah. And everybody's telling me, put the TV on the wall. The, why I want to watch a wall? I don't want to watch a wall. I don't want to watch a TV on the wall. Give me, I'm old school, give me a stand and call it a day. You good. Yeah. We used to have, oh, shoot. I just got rid of it recently. <laughs> you remember the TVs with the big picture tube? The back yeah. Big back. Yeah. Dang. I yeah. I I got rid of my last one in 2020. Damn. Yeah. And it still works. Double damn. Yeah. It, it was perfect. <laughs> Funny story. You know, God rest my brother's soul. So, it, Tom and Ron went to go up in my room to get the TV, right? So my thought was they was going to turn it upside down and slide it down the stairs, which would make sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they decided to carry it, right? Ron hand <laughs> slipped. And that TV would fall on top. <laughs> or it was like an Eddie, Murph Eddie Murphy uh, comedy special. <laughs> He fell down the damn down stairs. The steps. Yeah, twisted his ankle. He didn't break my mirror, though. Thank God. Right? But, yeah, those was the days we come from. I like the flat screens. Damn, you, man, you just got rid of that, though. Yeah, I just got rid of that. That's wild. Hey, you know, the flat screens, they don't last as long as the uh, yeah, the no. tubes did. But when that tube blew out, see black? <laughs> It was a wrap. Yeah, wrap it up. Ain't nobody repairing that. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Do you remember the all-in-ones? All-in-ones with the VCR? The, what, no. The TV with the radio and record player. Oh, no. Nah. And it looked like a dresser. Yeah, nah. I ain't. You remember that? Probably my grandmother had that. I don't. I can't remember back then. I had two of them. Damn. Yeah, those are the good old days. And you know what made me mad? I'm going to tell you something else that made me mad. My gra I'd be upstairs in my room. My grandmother and grandfather would call, call me from the living room area, which you've been in, right, to come change the channel. <laughs> you right there. <laughs> I got to come all the way downstairs and, you know, whatever I was doing, homework, writing a rhyme, something like that. And I got to come down the scene. Have you ever had any experiences like that, C Black? Of course. From, with my mom, though, but yeah, of course. Now I do it to my boys. <laughs> but see, hold on. You ain't telling them to change the channel, are you? Yo, get the remote. I become yo, turn the um turn the uh boom speaker on. And <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, same thing. It's in here. I'm right there. I don't feel like getting up though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They be happy to do it too. But you want that here. Yeah, yeah. Come do this for me real quick. Well, I'm super lazy. My ro my remote is right next to me where I sit. Yeah. Mine are too, once I get it. All day. Yeah, sit. But you know what? Sitting 
in the comfort of your home is one of the best things you could ever do. I know we work, we go out, we chill, we hang out, we see our friends. But that moment you get home is one of the best feelings on the planet, man. You know? I remember I had drove to Kentucky. Kentucky was 12 hours there. Shout out to Kentucky. Right? All the Kentucky yeah. Wildcats that's in the playoffs right now. Oh, shout to them. Shout to them. No doubt. Right. 12 hours. Right? I made it in 11. Right? You made it in 11. I made it in 11. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, speed racer. Right? By the time I got back, I think we stayed out there for a week. I pulled up to Stanton Street in Manhattan. I got out the car. Didn't even let the family out. I got out the car and kissed the ground. Literally kissed the ground. Happy to be home. I was so happy to be home. And not somewhere else. You know? And with that, let's not include the, the Kentucky, Ohio, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina trips we did. And but we did it. We did it, you know, and I think I think it's important to travel with the family when you can. And, you know, a car ride is better than playing any day. Damn. For, for how long, though? Huh? <laughs> how long on the drive, you thinking? Can't be with the how And how young are the kids, too? Uh, when I first started traveling with the kids in vehicles, they were like four and eight. Damn. No, three and seven. But yeah, yo. Now I can hold you though. I used to I used to be in vehicles and riding down to South Carolina though, I ain't gonna lie. I've done that a couple of times as a youth. I wouldn't do that right now though. Not with my kids. I do it with I do it. I've done yo, I mean, I've I've drove back from Atlanta. To New York. When I moved back to New York, I had to do the drive. And I made it in a couple of hours less than I was supposed to, too, because I was moving, boy. <laughs> I was so ready to be Dude, back in New York. Man. You, you took 95? 75 to 85 to 95, yep. Okay, 75. Straight 85, up. 95. Uh, yo, I was moving. I, I, had, I was done with Atlanta at the time. I was, like, so fucking done with it. I was like, I'm out of here. My brother flew down. I paid for his flight to come down one way, and we drove back. I stuffed my Toyota Camry. To the neck, nigga, everything. Hold on. Hold You had a regular car? What you mean? <laughs> you know, all I'm used to seeing you is in SUVs. That was my actual first car, the Toyota Camry. Salute. Good car, too. It was my first. And it was, that, was, that was pretty much um, advised by my, who I was asking for advice when I was going to look for a car. It was like, you know, the, the different types of cars that's reliable. So I went with that one. I got another story about my first, my actual first first one, because the one that I'm talking about right now is a black one. So my first one was a 99 gray one, and it was a faulty joint, and it blew out on me on the highway. The tire blew out Ooh. on me, and I got in an accident, and I was, like, knocked out on the joint, on the, on the E-way, real shit. And, um, and when they came to... Whatever they came to do the investigation or whatever, they found out it was a 4CV. That's how I got the black one because they, they, they okay. just pretty much gave me another vehicle, like, just here. So I got a 2001 black at the, after that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're here to tell the story, facts, man. man. It, it could have been a whole different story. And I, was, I was knocked out on, on, on the E-way. You know, my head bashed against the joint. Somebody had to knock on the passenger side window to wake me up and all that. Like, I didn't even know nothing happened. I didn't even know what happened. Let me say that. It just happened like that, like real quick. Yeah, when you get that blowout, man, that's a that's a different story when it comes yeah, to so driving. That was wild. That was wild. The, 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 like I said, the driver salute side to you tire. for being here today. Front tire. Real shit. Thank you. You know? That's my Toyota Camry story. <laughs> <laughs> even though they're reliable vehicles. It was the dealership that sold me the faulty, so mm, y'all niggas. Yeah, Honda cars are good cars too. Yeah, so that's why I'm in the Acura family now. Same deal. You know what I'm ah, there you go. I, I think, think I'm sticking with Acura for like for life now. Yeah, they that that vehicle. That's yeah. You want to stay there? Yeah, that's like, you know, when you 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 have the bond with a V, 
Yo, let me. I, I got another vehicle story, son. You do know you're not on the air, right? So nobody can really hear you. You heard me. Yeah, Audi. Yeah, you're, you're, you're talking Yo, off air. Audis was my vehicles. Like, visually, I love Yo, Audis. Yo, shouts, shouts to Be Severe and uh, my man V12 Vital. They're Audis? Yeah. Yo, those are my joints. But when I, dro- when I test drove it, I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. So I got that feeling from Acura. And then my my third car? I think my third car was a Cadillac. Remember I had the Cadillac? Yeah, the Cadillac. When I first drove that, that was that shit spoke to me too. And I was in love with that joint until the accident. So then I was like, get that out of here. So You know the safest car is a Volvo, right? Is it? Yeah. The safest yeah. car in America is a Volvo. For accidents. As far yeah, as for, for accidents, accidents. Like protecting yeah. the person inside. Yep. Wow. That's important news. I'm not buying one. I'm not either. I don't want I like him. Yeah. I ain't. Sh- shouts to Valencia's boyfriend Volvo. That was my man. You know him. We went to school together. Yeah. You know that's a Jay Z plug, right? Yeah. Yeah. Me and Volvo went to high school together. You know. See. I'm trying to think of it. I'm sure I do, but I gotta think of it. Mama loved me. That that song. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the line. Now. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, so anyway, see, Black, it's it's good to hear you had a fantastic weekend. I had a bad night. I had to throw somebody out. Damn. She was drunk. See, that's part of the turn up that I'm talking about. See, that's not a that, turn up. That's exciting and stuff. Mathematics is that a turn up for you? That's a turn up. That's part of your turn up. You enjoy those Man. things. <laughs> you enjoy Dude, I've, been, those. I've been doing the job. You enjoy those parts and of hold the night. On, hold on. Homegirl <laughs> is solid. Not fat. Mm. Solid. Thick. I had to, uh, she was drunk. Get out of there. Drunk. What'd she do? What happened? You ready? She didn't get drunk at my establishment. She came there drunk already. No, she didn't come. She came sober and then said, I'm taking a walk. Right? Okay. She took her walk. They got these, um, you know, I like White Claw, right? So they got things similar to White Claw. It's like 12% alcohol. So she went to the store, got one, downed it. And now you're talking about a 24-ounce can. Downed it, right? Walked back to my establishment and chilled for about 20, 30 minutes. Did it again? Wow. And then left again. Downed another one. Came back to my establishment. That's trash. Feeling guilty, she bought herself a beverage. Mm. Gin and ginger, to be exact. Right? Okay. Then she chilled for about 20 more minutes. Went back to the convenience store and got another one. So now... After she had the gin and ginger, she was doing the one-two step. Shout out to Sierra, right? She's doing the one-two step. <laughs> By the time she came back, it was one, two, three, four, five step. Oh, couldn't keep that balance. Couldn't keep that balance. And like I said, she's solid. And then she she's not a big girl, but she's a solid girl. You know, she's not a big girl. She's a solid, thick girl, right? <clears throat> Went to the bathroom, bumped everybody on the way. And you know my establishment. Mm. Bumped everybody on the way. It was like a pinball. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. All the way to the bathroom. Came out. Bing, 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 bing. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. And my partner, Youngin, my tattoo artist. Hold on. Yep. Let's see it. Yeah. So he told her, you got to go home. And she was like, no. As soon as I heard her say no, I was like, who do you think you're talking to? You got, you going home. Here's the turn up. <laughs> right? So <laughs> Young is talking to us. Shouts to Tattoo Joe. Follow him on social media. And, and he's talking to her, and she's being defiant. Right? About going home. 
So then she pulls out her phone to call an Uber. And this happens 10 times in a row. I said, Joe, get her out of my establishment, man, before I do. You said that 10 times? No, I said that to him after the 10 times she oh, tried she to called. call an Uber. Hey. And um, she got belligerent. Then I stood up and got a little aggressive. See how he smiles with that, though? <laughs> <laughs> and it's not his turn up, guy. <laughs> it just got a little aggressive. Yeah. And then, you know, <laughs> the next thing you know, she went out the door. I can't say how, but she went out the door. Not voluntarily. Tactical usage. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right? She went out the door. And, uh, you know, now we're standing outside. Right? It's not over. It's, no, it's not over. Because now she want to explain herself. Why she did what she and did. And then say, and this is what kills me with people who see black. Everybody that says I'm not drunk is drunk. Normally. Do you understand what I'm saying? Everybody that says I'm not drunk, and when you're doing a one, two, three, four, five step, you're drunk. You dig what I'm saying? So. Was she blacking out at that moment, at that point? She was on one. And it was time to go home. It was, it was, it was so bad. I 86 her from two nights at my establishment, oh. meaning she can't come back right. on those two particular nights. And I said, you, you're walking a thin line because I don't want you here on these nights because these are two nights that I'm usually not here. So as the authority, no, you can't come. Has she been back? <laughs> This was last night. This was last night. This was last night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This was last night. So what's the two nights she banned with? <laughs> Monday and Wednesday. She's banned. Don't yeah. come back on Monday and Wednesday. Because I'm not there to regulate. Now who was she with? The people she was with. She anybody. was by herself. She was by herself. She was by herself. It's It's so bad with this particular person. That her friends, her good friends, shy away from her when she gets drunk. Like you know, you know how uh, young people nowadays they share their location, right? You know, they'll especially be, especially the iPhone location. people. Yeah, yeah, they share their location and stuff they like that. Her location. All, all her friends <laughs> blocked her from knowing her, their location. They don't want to come help her when she get fucked up. No, Damn. one friend, you know. Love the girl. One friend, I guess she called her crying that I kicked her out or whatever, and she went to aid her, you know, after the situation. Because she left, had another beverage, and came back and looked at Young and said, I just need to talk to Tony. I just need to talk to Tony to see if I can get back in. And I'm like, don't do it. At all, you know, but yeah, that's ridiculous. That's not turn up. That's headache. Look how you smiling about it, though. It's the enjoyment to you a little bit, yeah, well, right? You know, you know, I do my job. This is what I'm saying. I do, I do my job. All turn up ain't Vegas turn up or Atlantic City's turn up. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, we got a trip going to uh, Atlantic <laughs> City soon. See how yeah, fast let's change that the subject. <laughs> yep, we got a trip. So, um, the good people at F Street Media, right? Mm -hmm. And the Grown Man Show. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. We'll be in Atlantic City real soon. Now, I have to coordinate. You see, I said coordinate. Mm -hmm. I have to coordinate the dates with all parties involved to make sure it's right. Because, you know, I'm only there two days. Right, and I want to spend time with y'all for two days. But guess what? We're going to have a computer and go live from AC, wherever we at. So How you. do you feel about that? I mean, I'm mad, to be honest, that we took a couple years off from doing it. But 
It'll be dope to do it again. Get back to it. Because yeah. we back at it, right? Uh, yeah, we back at it. Yeah. Like we never left. Like we never left. We did. You know? So, yeah, we, we going to plan this trip. And I'm not driving. The the ghost the <laughs> ghost is staying in my front yard. I'm not driving. Let me so drive see, the ghost then. Huh? Let me drive the ghost. Uh, you can drive the ghost all you want, man. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Salutes to me for passing inspection. <laughs> so what? I pass inspection. Yeah. That's important. I got the little blue one. The blue joint. The blue joint. Yeah, that that was important. That's an official inspection. Yeah, official inspection. No, you can't buy those. Yeah, you there's no there's no black market on those. Uh uh-uh. uh. And then yeah, well that's sixteen hundred dollars in repairs to to pass inspection. And I ain't even Damn. finished repairing Damn. the the car because yeah, I got some undercarriage stuff to deal with. The left arm sensor and it's it's, it's so much. It'll is like, it, is it something you want to do? Like it's something I have to do. Oh. For 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 me and my people to ride safe, it's something I have to do. You know, it's it's, it's 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 you, you can't have them change the rotors and oh the brake pads and all that. That's a lot. See, black. Yeah, it always seems like it comes at the same time too. Like. All of it at the same time. No, I didn't do the uh, rotors and brake pads, Bryant. Well, no, they can't hear you. So you ask me a question, I have to respond to you. Say what? No, my address ain't going out. Yeah, I got enough stalkers, B. Shoot. No, no, no. I did everything... Engine wise to pass inspection, and then I have to do the undercarriage, and then I'm done. I'm so done. I'm done now. I'm tired. Cars drive me crazy, man. You know? How's your car dealing? Yeah, all the stuff you're talking about, I don't want to do no repairs to my joint because I want to upgrade. I feel like, what's the point? It's good enough to drive, that's it. I don't want to do no repairs like that. That I'm going to need, I'm going to end up paying. I'm I'm just ready for the upgrade, just to say that. Now, are you, now do you own your vehicle or have you leased it? I own it. So you own it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Any repairs you got to do? You got warranty? I'm done with that. But you know you could buy a warranty. That'll I, cover I wanna, some parts and stuff like that. I don't that. even care about that junk. So I'm so, good. Oh, you done? I'm really done with that vehicle, Gosh. but I'm staying in the Acura family though. So, just look. I, I like the MDX. Yeah, that's what I, you know. Yeah, that's how we roll. It's pretty smooth. You Auto, already. what's your other name? You already <laughs> smooth. <laughs> smooth. Smooth. Woo, chat. Now let's talk about this. Are you a Michigan State fan or University of Michigan fan? Who you like better? I'm just saying, I'm going to go Michigan. I mean, I, Michigan, yeah. Michigan. One is green, one is blue. Yeah, I go with Michigan because I don't like Michigan State for too many. Like, like I don't like their football team like that. I rock with their they college team, basketball team, but... I ain't really watching other sports, no softball or nothing. So Michigan, they basketball team and football team, they be popping. Yeah. And I rocks with them. I follow they, they players more than I follow Michigan State, even though I follow Michigan State players too. But football, I'm not here for it. College football, first of all, it's too, too much to follow. You stick, I got one team, and that's it. I ain't trying to st- go to these different conferences and Rose Bowls and Golden Bowls and Pepsi Bowls. I ain't trying to. Who's in it? I don't even know. I'm following Colorado State because <laughs> Dion, of course. And that's it. And Kentucky. Period. I'm go blue all day. Which one? Michigan. Yeah, Michigan Wolves. Go Wolves. Yeah, all day. That's what's up. And then I, 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 might, I might, you know, mess around with the Nittley Lions every now and then. 
Let's see how they doing. Shouts to Penn State. Shouts to the Penn Relays. A lot of people forgot about that. Yeah. I'm good. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. Oh, did you see the video I sent you of Brennan? Yes, I did. You saw that? You see yeah, that? Boy? He's mean. You see that guy? He's mean. Shouts man. to Pockets. Shouts to Pockets. Man, you, you know when we nicknamed him Pockets, well, you, you're his dad, you nicknamed him Pockets. It felt like almost a decade ago. And I think it was a decade ago. I was ago. about to say, it probably was 10 years ago. Like right at 10 years, nine or 10 years. Because he was like yeah. six or seven when he started. And he's 16, 17. Yeah, now. that guy is great. You know, love him, love him to death. Love Shouts him to Iota birth. Prep, Gales. Um, my guy is going to be playing starting defensive line back of this year, 11th grade. Brennan Presley, check for that boy, number 25. His nickname to us is Pockets. They call him something else. but um, They call him something else. They call him something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they call him Baby Bull. Baby what? Baby Bull. Because his first year he was playing, he was playing, um, he was playing tel- uh, fullback, so he was short line smashing. But now they put him on defense, so now he like Ray Lewis on these niggas. <laughs> he be coming for shouts to him. Shouts to pockets, man. But I just seen I just sent Tony a video of him yesterday. He was running on the treadmill, looked like maybe forty miles per hour. Real shit. <laughs> No, that boy is bad. He was man. Going, so. That boy is bad. He was bad. He, he was bad from the gate, though. Yeah, for like, he, yeah, like you could see it, it. You could see it. It was coming. Yeah, early it was coming. Like he was getting into his own early. And I, you know, I thought he was going to play basketball like you. Yeah, that ain't happening. And <laughs> nah, he, you know, he's yeah. he's he built different, man. Yeah, so he went. He he's in his right. In his right place. He's in his right sport. Yeah, sport. Uh-huh. That's the that's the sport for him. Which is ironic because football was my favorite sport though. Mm. I just stopped growing. As you can see, I'm the same height <laughs> since I was like 18. You know what I mean? Same way. Well, I, I think most of us in here are the same height. Since I ain't been. The, I ain't been no. Well, that's why I ain't keep playing since. Because <laughs> I was the same height and didn't grow no more. How about that, brother? Waste didn't do it for me. It didn't it didn't bulk me up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you I didn't see, get bulky. I didn't get bulky. I wasn't see, I'm like, talking about height. I, I'm yeah, sorry. I'm talking about being able to take that physical contact of a, being a running back. I was a running back. I was like Dave Meggett out here, son. I was Barry Sanders-esque. I was not trying to be touched out here, fam. You hear me? Oh, you was a man. I was, and I done shook people out their shoes for real. Oh, man. I've never done that. Man, it's documented. Shit, niggas was like this on the field. Like, I know, I don't believe I just saw that. Shut the shit out this nigga out of shoes. <laughs> well, there you go. But that's because you was good at what you do. No, I was really scared to get hit. <laughs> that's what it was. So you ain't gonna touch me. <laughs> facts. Super facts, son. But the go. first time I got hit, the first time I really got hit, I got hit like kind of blindsided. I didn't get to brace myself and then knock the wind out of me. Game over. Basketball season begins. <laughs> <laughs> you are ready. Son. Oh, shouts to mathematics. He's saying he went through that too. <laughs> Shoot, real shit. No, nah, that first K- hit hurt, especially yeah. when you shouts ain't expecting Kennedy, it. Shouts to Kennedy High School, man. You no, know, you gotta keep your head on the swivel. Yeah, and I, I I wasn't used to playing with equipment at the time too, so that was, that was like my first. Mm. That was mm. my first practice with it, and. Man, they could wait. I'm on the air. I don't. Care. I don't care who's calling. And watch. Hold on. Watch this. Hello. I'm on the air. Yep. See, that's how you shut stuff like that down. You let them know what you're doing when you're doing it. <laughs> I do. You ain't hear me say I'll call you back. He's like, no, I'm on air. What you want? That's it. But uh, be that as it. Hey, Eight thirty. I'm out of here. The 
Oh, yeah. So we'll, so we'll hit our hour. Excuse me, Cameron, for the white claw. Yes, but um, I remember first meeting your son, and he was such a quiet, peaceful kid that would just sit and watch TV. Yeah. And he he wouldn't move, you know? And he would watch. He'd come say hi to us, and... That was it. He's he's a good kid completely, man. And I promise you, as your friend, as your comrade, as your brother, I will always try to be there for your child. And everybody in the building's children. Appreciate you know, that. Do my best. Now, Brendan is very well managed, man. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, you know who his uncle is, right? You know who his daddy is, right? No, you know who his <laughs> uncle is. His uncle is the mild mannered reporter. But it's also, don't let don't let me don't let But he me also pull goes by DJ down. Kickass. Oh shoot. He don't know. I walk around like I got an S on my chest. No, that's a semi auto and a vest on my chest. But I actually do got an S on my chest. Yeah. Yeah. That part. You know you know who else um just just, just thinking about the team, I think Every, everybody between MI6 and the Grown Man Show and, you know, Booth Burners and What's Good Magazine, um, Dicer's Entertainment, Dirty NY TV, uh, too many to name a few, S Street Media, right? Everybody's kids are good kids. That's the crazy part about oh, yeah, it. That's a whole thing. There's so many kids out here killing each other <laughs> that we got the good kids. That and, you know, uh, I want to thank the creator today for blessing us with those children because they are a blessing. They didn't have to be here. And they're with us for a reason, and they're beautiful, man, you know. And there's so many to name. Yeah, what? I was about to say, is it, I was about to say we ne- probably never even had all of us our children in the same room. You know what? We then we should do a grown man show, family reunion. It should be a cookout. Uh, yeah, in the we summer. should do a cookout in the summer. Grown. Now hold on. Who's ever man in the grill? I don't do lighter fluid. I can't stand it. Uh, talking to whoever's on the grill. <laughs> yeah, whoever's going to man the I'm grill. I'm showing up with the bottles. No lighter fluid. Get the wood chips, get the paper bags, stuff like that. I'm good with that. The regular Kings for plain joint. I don't, I, I, listen, I had two years where I didn't eat cookout food because, because they use lighter fluid, yeah. They do something to you? Break you uh, out? Yeah, yeah, I could taste it the next day. Huh. Yeah, I, no, I don't want no lighter fluid in my food. And it's bad enough. Here's a fun fact. Well, it's not fun, but it's a real fact. Meat hitting charcoal and, you know, the the grease popping off going back up and down creates a carcinogen. So that's another reason why I don't eat Mm -hmm. cookout food like that. So it's the golden. That's a bet, right? Sometime this summer we're going to have that. You know what? Can we shake on it? Uh, ho, ho, whoa, 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 mathematics. Can we shake on it? Be severe. All right. So we're going to do, oh, shoot. Do I got to name them people again? No, this is Grown Man Show Cookout. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just leave it there. Talk about all of the Yeah, the if I entities? start naming the companies and stuff <laughs> like that, you know, I piss myself off. Like, say, I should have just, just, just one site. Just say the family, like you know. The yeah, family. the family. So when we had a cookout, so we the have the BB guns here. come out. Everybody, we have the Hershey rappers and them come out with the devil's eggs. With the devil's eggs, we had the Vanessa Smiles come out. With the fishes on deck, right? We have the Night Times come out. He gonna have the bug. We have the Gallo the Greats come out. Yes, Night is gonna have bug. <laughs> yeah, my my twin rapper. See, I got a twin son, and I have a twin rapper. Knight's my twin rapper. Um, who else? We got Madman the God. Oh shoot, he's coming with Bud too. 
you know, y'all got to bring food, man. <laughs> so we can cook and eat and have libation. Somebody better bring Tito's, though. I'm telling you, it's going to be a problem. Um, Vanessa Smiles, Priscilla. Um, oh, you know, you know who else mm. I'm going to have come out? Young Nate. I'm going to have him come from Atlanta. That's what he moved You know to. what I'm saying? Yeah, he moved to Atlanta. Kadeem King. I'm going to have him come out. If she's in New York, I'll have Bianca come out. She come to anything I'll do if she's in New York because she lives in Florida. Um, oh, who else is there? You know who I'm invite out? T Blaze. Oh, wow. And T I feel like I've seen T Blaze recently. Yep, T Blaze, um, Slims. Oh shoot! Who's it? Yeah, Damn. everybody. Uh, T. Paris, shout to my guy. I spoke to him the other day. Love you, brother. Um, T. Paris, Trey Boss, Nervine. Um, oh God, it's it's so many of them. This is going to be a family reunion with no performance. Just we cooking out. I'm here for it. And guess what? Probably about two weeks later, there'll be a performance somewhere. I'm here for that, too. Yeah. I just got to figure out the location <clears throat> because, you know, post-pandemic, locations has been real sparse as far as um, doing performances. A lot of them even changed up their style, and they don't want hip-hop. They don't want performances. Uh, you know, yes, I I don't mind going to New Yorkian and snapping my fingers to do a poetry show, but yeah, listen, yeah, you know, in our show, C Black, we have poets, rappers, singers, we got enough to sell everything, right? Mm -hmm. We have so. Oh, remember the rock group we had rock out with us? We had two rock groups rock out with us. How about the band, though? Hmm. The band? You talking about the band? Yeah. They was all rock. Yeah. The two bands. One was from Canada, and one lived... No, the, one was from Canada, B.C., British Columbia, and another one lived... They lived in New York City. I mean, they're no longer together. The B.C. group is still together. Oh. Yeah. The one I sent uh, E. Pills on tour with. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I didn't know where they was from. I remember them. Yeah, they, they was from... And, you know, that's one of my favorite episodes of the Grown Man Show at the other station we was at. What? And when they all came in and rocked out, oh, my goodness. But one of my fondest memories with that particular band was they had a bong, right? And it wasn't a regular bong. It was a bong with a balloon, and they called it the third lung. It was in a it was a soda bottle with some contraption put into the bottle where the water would flow and the balloon would blow up and they would you know inhale the whole balloon and just cough and I'm like how do you do that like how much higher can you get yeah. Like, you know, I'm old school. Puff, puff, pass. That's it. Oh, uh, man. Um, I've been a witness of, I've been around a dude that did a bong boy before. White boy, too. When I was living in Atlanta. <laughs> Damn it. And I was high as shit. Yeah. And all of the things you just explained, the water bubbling and all that. He had ice in his joint and all that shit. And it fooled you, too, because the inhale was cool, cold type. So you don't even thinking it is hitting you right, proper. Before you know it, you you laced like fried in there, son. You can't even move. No, that was my last time. <laughs> <laughs> I learned quick. You have to. You understand? You understand? I do learn. He quick. learned quick, ladies and gentlemen. For some stuff. But, but see, my thing is now. You know, I done got mad again. You know what I'm mad at? Do you know they putting fentanyl in weed? Oh, yeah. Okay. And it it gives it the 
the icy look or the t- the really extra good. THC look, and people are dying. Like, who does that? You're not going to Jamaica, right? Getting it straight off the bush with fentanyl. Not cool. I'm mad, and I'm not even going to state where it started at in New York City, but I'm upset. Give the people clean product, man. And fun fact, fentanyl is used to make you come back. It's the opioid. It's it's made for you to come back. So when they when they put in the cocaine, it's for you to get more addicted to come back and buy more. When they put in the dope, it's to make you more addicted and come back for more. When they when they put it in um, marijuana, they put it in there with the hopes that you come back. Well, there's no guarantee because it depends on the strain of the wing. Mm-hmm. Now, if you got um, what we used to call that mathematics, bush weed, mm-hmm. backyard boogie, right? It won't. It exactly. makes it stronger. Boogie makes it stronger. No, the fentanyl makes backyard boogie stronger. Right, so now the question with that is, how is not cocaine and whatever else is being put in killing people? With well, you're not putting, on. I mean, unless you're smoking woolly blunts, you're not putting cocaine in weed. No, I'm talking about the, the fentanyl and cocaine. No, well, the, the fentanyl and dope and cocaine is the main killers right now on the yeah. streets. Those two so, are the main killers. And so it's, when is it put in the weed? It, it yeah, when it's put in the weed, it's, it's been a couple of deaths in uh, New York City. I can't speak for the rest of the world. But it's been a couple of deaths in New York City based on fentanyl and weed. Didn't that happen to Gangsta Boo? Was it her, her, was laced with, her weed was laced with fentanyl or something like that? No, it was laced, but it wasn't it fentanyl. Wasn't fentanyl. Yeah. Oh. And I remember they used to, to dip it in embalming fluid and dust and all that. It's like, huh? Yeah. Like, listen, I, uh, see, like me and my good friend Mongo, shout out to Mongo. Everybody knows who he is to me. We went from East New York to Atlantic City. We smoked the whole ride. Uh. Do you know I walked out that car like it was nothing? And I'm talking about a blunt, a pipe, and a vape. The whole ride. That's how we did it. Blunt pipe vape. Blunt pipe vape for two and a half hours. And then I got out that car and walked to the store and got me a bottle of Tito's (laughs) and a case of White Claw. You should be their sponsor. No, they sponsored me uh, two years ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Well, I I haven't gotten the Tito's yet. I used to be down with Jameson. And um, you remember I used to have the, the, the big bottles of uh, Patron? That was when they were sponsoring me. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I lost that contract. Well, no, I didn't lose the contract. The people I worked with got fired. Mm. Same thing with Jamison. Remember at Bar 13, if you remember, at Bar 13, I would do free Jamison for an hour at 11 o'clock. At Bar 13. Shouts to Bar 13. Shouts to my man Memo. Wasn't there for none of those names. Oh, here we go. No, I'm saying I wasn't there for the... It was fitting up? Oh. Yeah, I, I probably was came after the 11 o'clock hour. Yeah, so probably Maybe did. it was 12 o'clock. Pro- probably did. Yeah. I can't but, never recall missing no Jameson. Yeah, that was, you know, that was my drink at the time. I pressed them to sponsor my parties. But three, the, listen, did, and I, they would give me the, the half gallons? What? Man, I'd get four of those. And you know how how I had, so I had three floors at, at Bar 13. Mm. The main floor, the second floor, and the roof packed every Monday. Shouts out to my people that rocked out with me at Dub Day Mondays, which was an all dubstep party. All dubstep all the time. 
And we did that. And hold on. When I say we did that, you do I know I'm looking at you, right? Like, we did that. You was a huge part of my life at that moment. That's why I met H at. We all were. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it. All right. It's, it's okay. Here's my handle. It's at DJ Uncle Tone. And then the other handle is S underscore street underscore. It starts with an M. Oh, yeah. Media. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, if you can find yourself having time, you can follow my brother, Style by Poverty. He might not follow you back, but <laughs> check him out. All right. And then, you know, that my other guy in the building, you know, we have another platform, you know. What is it, Civic something? Civic? Uh, you know, I'd be forgetting. I had, I had coronavirus. Yeah, yeah so we yeah we have an app. We're going to talk about it on another show. Shouts to be severe. That's how you can follow his ass. See, oh, excuse my French. I cussed again. See, black. Oh man, shoot. Bad Tony. Bad, Bad Tony. <laughs> um, big shouts to uh, Gal the Great, Hershey Rapper, the Rapper, Vanessa Smiles. Uh, percent of the hit maker, nighttime, GP the boss lady, madman the god, N O Y. Um, but hold on, how about this? A biggest shout out to this guy to the left of me, and you can follow him at C Black the Business, and there's another one, one business. Business on Twitter X at to X. Oh my goodness! <laughs> See, you know, close us out. I don't know this X stuff yet. I I'm not up to date with this X stuff. Yeah, yeah. X. Yeah, not the and, BX. and guess what? No, not the BX. Not the BX. The X on the number one the word business. All right, we got it. So th- is my name still the same on Twitter? Uh, I, mean, I would assume on so. X? It's the same. It should be. You had it on. You had it I the just, same. At- what about the grown man show? Now I got. You know what? I got to get a phone to get in that account. Uh, yeah, you got the handles on the, all that. So that uh, no, you know this phone don't do all of that. I had a separate phone for that. And guess what? I didn't. You know, if you don't use the phone in a month, they cut it off. Yeah, I had Obama. I was about to say, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I had Obama. And that's what they that's what they did. They cut me off. The phone I use for Twitter. Oh yeah, you can follow oh. Press Fit Athletics. Press Fit Athletics. Get me on a game if you want something. Yeah, I got a shirt. See, this is the problem with having shirts with holes in it. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Steve Black. I appreciate yeah. that. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I do my Kanye thing. Shouts to him, man. <laughs> Underrated and over-criticized. And I'll leave that there. That's my guy. I knew him since he was... I knew him since he was sitting at the doors of Def Jam, man. Him, Ludacris, and Just Blaze would be sitting on the floor... With their computers out. Yeah. But that's, you know, that was when I was big tone. Big tone. Yeah, that was big tone. All right. We out of here, y'all. Peace and blessings. Peace to the gods and earth, man.